What would you do if you have video of someone confessing they tried to rape a family member? That was a question a Topeka tattoo artist had to answer recently. After a man made rape allegations not just once, but twice, all while being recorded on a cell phone. New at 6, KSNT News' Brooke Lennington talked to the woman behind the camera who contacted us after not getting any answers from Topeka police. It's the kind of video that makes you cringe. Wow, I tried raping my cousin earlier. Did you? Yeah. She was even more shocked when it happened again. Yeah, I tried to rape, I tried to rape my cousin earlier. But anyway. I didn't know what to say to that. That's not something that somebody normally says to you. Then escalated to this. Wow, what will this give me? Probably give me a ran out of here, huh? Um, yeah. You know, you have to keep a calm head. A strategy Malia Blancas was used to as a tattoo artist. By just kind of showing them that you really don't take them seriously, usually they're just going to leave. Um, we get that a lot. Once the man left, Blancas called for help. 911, where is your emergency? The operator said she would get an officer out there. 20 minutes went by, so her boss called. It was then about 40 minutes after the second phone call that we were able to get an officer out there to look for this person, and at that time we were not able to locate them and we cleared the scene. What Blancas doesn't get is why it took so long for police to respond. When you say that you tried to rape somebody, that's something that you can't take lightly. Stewart says the delayed response was because Blancas didn't specify what the emergency was. He said something about he tried to do something with this cousin. But when her boss, James George, called 20 minutes later. And my employees got him on, uh, got him on video, threatening her with the railroad tie and saying that he tried to rape his cousin earlier. Okay, just sit tight. I'll get somebody over there with you in a few minutes. Police did eventually look into the video after seeing it on a social media site. We know that there's been a history of those types of comments, but there's been no history of acting on those comments. And so history predicts future, uh, so there would not be anything to indicate that he would suddenly act on that. And at this point, Stewart says there will be no further investigations in regards to the comments that the man made. Reporting from the Topeka Police Department, Brooke Lennington, KSNT News. Topeka Police also told us that the man in the video is known to them as having mental instability issues. We found out about this story because Blancas reached out to us for help. Remember, whenever you see news happen, send us your news tips, photos, or video by using the reported feature at KSNT.com or on our mobile app.